I'll tell you, this is a great location as we're back here in Charlotte for us to broadcast from, but I'm sure the, uh, the Charlotte Knights would much rather be getting set to host a AAA baseball game. White Sox, top farm team, just like the rest of minor league baseball, shut down this season because of COVID-19. Uh, Dan Murkowski is here, the chief operating officer for the team. First of all, thank you for having us in your stadium. Thank you. And welcome. And I'm sure that's true, right? You'd much rather be hosting uh, <laughs> games. You had to get, I, I read you get creative. You had some, a few events here. Well, we did. You know, they shut us down back in March, right in the middle of our, our beginning of our college season. And, of course, the nights were canceled as well. So we've had to be creative. We've got nothing to do. We want to keep our staff. Uh, well, I've got about two-thirds of my full-time staff left. The other ones were laid off. But... Uh, keeping people getting keeping people working and one of the things that we've done is, is occupy this with 25 people or less with the restrictions under North Carolina law but what we've done is created 25 pods or excuse me 10 pods of 25 people okay so our 10,000 seat capacity stadium can now seat up to 250 people and you show a movie or we showed a movie this weekend okay. we've had dance recitals we've had private batting practices we've had a comedy show um, anything we can do within the restrictions and guidelines it's been tough enough for Major League Baseball, um, the way that the season has operated. And, of course, they, they called it off completely in the minors. But have you started thinking ahead to next year, what you have to do to get ready? Do you have to make changes? Do you rely on a vaccine and just say it's going to be a normal season? Or do you just not know yet? You know, we just don't know. There's so yeah. many things that are factored. What we have to look at is percentage of capacity. Um, we're looking at all angles. And it's going to be a different normal for us. It's not going to be something that uh, we, we're used to. Well, we've got to adapt, and hopefully we'll learn from the other sports teams that are dealing with it this fall. Come next spring, let's hope we have capacity and the ability to do it. This is a tough business, or it can be, minor league baseball. Um, people usually do it for the love, right? And then yeah. how do you make money in this environment going forward? I mean, this, I mean, the good thing here is you have a great stadium, yeah. and it's relatively new, and from what I understand, you do well. It's a big city, and you That's fill right. it. But minor league baseball in general seems like a tough outlook in well, this country coming through the pandemic. We've got a lot of challenges. Let's yeah. be very clear about that. This is a social business. We're putting people 22 inches next to each other. We're sitting in seats. Baseball's about entertainment. It's not necessarily a game all the time, especially minor league baseball. So we've got to figure out ways to be creative, make sure that it's safe for all of our patrons when they come in. And just follow the guidelines of the CDC and hope that this thing gets out of here with a vaccine. Speaking of guidelines, I meant to ask you, um, the Republican National Convention being held, well, at the convention center, of course, they were supposed to be in a bigger place and then, you know, everything that happened. They ever talked to you guys? about? Oh, absolutely. Doing? There would have been an event here tonight. Um, in the normal setting? In the normal setting. But they never thought about doing something outdoors, maybe? No, with, no. Uh, no that, that was discussed. And, of course, when the movement back to Florida from out of North Carolina, we were a Sweet 16 venue. All those things went away as well. So... Outside of Knights baseball, we lost our ACC baseball championship. So Jeez. it's been painful, but there's a lot of other people feeling pain much worse than us. Did we, you go through the loan process like a lot of businesses? Or we did. Okay. We did, and we were able to sustain it for eight weeks under the PPP loan, so it was a very positive. You kept some it. people on, like you said. That's right. Does the parent, the Chicago White Sox help you to Major League Baseball? You get well, help there? Or not no, really? we're independently owned. We're owned by okay. a franchise owner, and we actually we own this building, unlike many of the buildings that are owned by uh, the city or county, we own it. So we've got debt service responsibilities as well. You're going to be all right? We're going to be okay. We're going to get through this. It's a great stadium. It yes, really is. You. This team has been around in the city for a long time, but the stadium's relatively new. Thanks for having us in. Thank you. We appreciate it. And hopefully we'll come back and see a game when you guys are up on Please your feet do. again. All right. Enjoyed it. Thank uh, Dan Rakowski there. The Charlotte Knights is a minor league team, AAA affiliate of the White Sox here in, in Charlotte. Great host today.